In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create something called an editable motion trail. Um, basically, what an editable motion trail is, is it will leave a trail if an object is animated, say frame 40, then frame 10. Um, basically, you create an editable motion trail and it leaves a trail as it moves along a certain path. And um, the trail that it leaves behind is editable. So you can actually move points in the trail and it will actually move the object, the animated object, and you can keyframe it as you please. So it's very good for creating like curvy swings, etc. Like for for in, in this punch, for example, which is very bricky and not very good. Um, you can see that it's not very fluid and doesn't really flow along a path. But if you create something called an edible motion trail, as as the fist as the fist moves up and moves around, it will leave a trail. And on a trail will have little points and these points can be moved um, so let me show you how to do this um, come let's come back here let's reset so this is that this is the hand control here this is what's actually been keyframed and animated so I'm going to want to select on that and once selected on um, your animate object make sure that um, it's in the animation option and come up here to where it says animate and here you have the option for create editable motion trail um, let's just come into the preferences here. Let's have it from the time slider. My time slider is set from minus 40 to 30. Then once you kind of had your preferences how you want, you maybe you maybe you only want it to go from one frame one to ten. It's up to you how you have it. And of course there's like thickness and other little things, but we won't go into that now. Um, so we click here, create motion trail. So as you can see now, a motion trail has been created. And that, that motion trail is literally the path that the animated, animated object follows along. So as you can see, it moves up, kind of goes up, push, and there you go, it hits. You see, it's very straight. <clears throat> yeah, so it's not very fluid, um, the punch throw. So now, all these little white points here can be moved. They can be moved in any direction. So as you can see, it's more curvy. We can curve this out. Can pull it down. You can do whatever you want with it. So let's just move this out a bit more. So now, if let's, so now, if you see when you when I want to punch, it will follow that trail. So as you can see here, it gets really straight. And this is a very very easy way just to create, you know, because because now by this using this, you kind of kind of see the path that. The animation is going to follow along so it gives you an idea and it's very easy to edit that's the best thing about it maybe you, maybe you want to move it forward a bit and this is literally moving a keyframe around as well because as you can see in here so come into the graph editor which is there and now in a graph editor let's zoom out a bit and right there look if you move this object down or up you will see that it would actually can you see it's actually affecting the, the, the keyframes in the graph editor and the path that it follows? So it's kind of like it's kind of like a graph editor, but a live graph ed editor, which is I think is really cool and it allows you to create animations you want um, and create get quite precise animations, which is quite cool. Um, as you can see, it's very easy, and that's literally how you create an editable motion draw. 